seed my matrix uh, with some bacteria. Um, I made a tragic mistake of adding some of the um, bacteria that I was going to use um, to the water and uh, it seems to have actually killed off some of my corals. Um, my torch corals not looking too good and also uh, some of my other corals are also dying off. Um, my fungia who was looking very healthy um, didn't like it too much either. Um, the bacteria that I'm using is um, this one here, uh, Reef Balance, or Pure Reef Balance. Um, so basically what I've learned, my, the lesson learned, is that the bacteria should be locked in to the matrix and it shouldn't be free in the water column. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is put my matrix here and I'm going to put half of it back in because obviously there, there will be some bacteria um, within the matrix uh, but the rest of it I'm going to put in a container and using the um, pure reef balls um, I'm going to be adding those to a solution and just leave it to soak um, for a couple of weeks for the bacteria to um, dissolve into the into the water that the matrix is going to be in and to colonate colonize the matrix and then I'm going to be adding that back to my filter right so some of the matrix is going to be going back into the basket about half and then the rest is going to have these I think I only need two just a couple of balls in there the balls there and then I need to add some salt water Right, so you should be able to see there's two balls in there, and then I'm just going to leave that to soak. See how that goes. Okay. This is going to make a perfectly suitable container um, to put the um, matrix into to leave it to soak. Um, the balls have already started dissolving, which is good. Uh, so I just need a container to try and pour it in.
that's it. Let's seal it up. Just leave it for a couple of weeks. Um, as to my filter, um, yeah, it's still working, which is um, pretty amazing considering <laughs> no leaks. <laughs> All right, then, over and out. Right, so um, I've been able to keep my skimmer off my um, tank. Uh, because of my continuous water changes that take place every hour um, I'm currently dosing in I think about 190 mils um, every hour and uh, the removal is now continuous on a uh, drip so uh, water has been continuously removed from the tank um, I've also designed a um, floating aquascape. Unfortunately I wasn't sure whether it was going to work or not so I didn't actually film how I did it um, but it but I am very pleased with it and it looks um, quite unusual. Um, I have had a few die-offs uh, due to some issues that I had. Um, I've actually lost my torch coil now but all the other corals seem to be recovering pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure yet what kind of other corals I'm going to put on my floating aquascape um, but I'm thinking of maybe some GSP or some other small um, covering corals. Right, on to my sun coral. Um, my sun coral is doing well. Um, I've got a few small uh, polyps popping up um, but it is a very high maintenance coral um, and does need looking after. Um, I've got into a routine now where I feed it at a specific time in the evening and um, it seems to know um, what time that's going to be because the polyps are out ready uh, to receive the food, which is, you know, a good sign. Um, I'm looking now to see what other kind of corals that I can get um, in this genre because uh, I do really like the colours that they bring to the tank. Um, you tend to find the more colourful corals are the ones that uh, do need a little bit more feeding to keep them healthy. Um, but you know I've had this coral for some time now and it's doing really well. Okay, over and out.